just hate it when you're making a manual measurement and you aren't exactly sure what it is? Well, let me make your life a lot easier with the Y Prima Digital Caliper. They call me the Asian Phenom because I'm the best at what I do, and that is to test new products to see if they are worth your hard earned money. Unless you're rich like Elon Musk, welcome back to the channel. It's your friend and neighborhood YouTuber with another exciting unboxing. So it looks like the digital caliper comes in this nice plastic case. Let's go and open it up. It's made in China. Oh, I just know it's the W logo. Wow. Okay. Oh, right off the bat, it comes with, uh, I think these are two additional LR44 1.5 volt batteries. Definitely appreciate extra battery because those cost money. Here is the technical specs along with the instructions guide and applications. Okay, very basic right there. <laughs> What's that doing there? This isn't a food review. Okay, and here is the digital caliber. Oh, definitely appreciate the plastic wrapping to keep it clean, nice and clean. And looks like you have a mini um, Phillips screwdriver to uh, to remove the battery. That's actually appreciate. This is the battery compartment right there. Right off the bat, we notice the nice stainless steel hardened construction for the body, and this part is made of a carbon fiber composite that kind of resembles stainless steel. You have these nice rollers so it stays smooth, glide. And here's what the bomb looks like. And it also tells you um, these um, destinations, measurements, okay, conversion factor, I think. All right, so let's go ahead and measure the remote control that I was measuring before. By the way, this can provide an accuracy of up to plus or minus 0 0.2 millimeters or 0, 0.0 inches, right? That's, that's basically the tolerance. So here is the remote control I was measuring before English units because we are in the United States so let's go ahead and measure that that looks like uh, 4 point what well, it's like 4 point 8 inches something like that okay so let's go ahead and use the digital caliber let's go ahead and turn it on See, battery is already in here. Let's make sure is this is working. Whoops, a little too fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and measure this. Right there. And that measures to be 4.89 inches. Okay. So we were working with inches. Yeah, see? See, I wasn't sure if it was 4.8 or 4.9, but now I know that it is 4.89 inches. Actually, let me give you guys a better look right there. See, that's better. All right, so we know that's accurate. Let's say everyone switches to uh, millimeters. There you have it. It's 124.18 millimeters down to the decimal points. All right, okay. Now you notice these different uh, handles right there. So this can also measure the interior, exterior dimensions, let's say of a bottle or something, cylinder, a cylinder, okay? So this is to measure the external, this is to measure the, measure the internal. And this is the locking screw, a large LCD display. You have the reset button, which is a zero button. All right, on off inch millimeters SI or English unit uh, switching back and forth this is the battery compartment and also in the back you have a depth measurement for hard to reach places we all know sometimes we come across that all right so I have a glass jar right here let's go ahead and put the caliper to good use I want to measure the exterior diameter of this glass jar and it's like 69. 36 millimeters. Whoops, move that a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and switch that to inch. So about uh, at that 20 
2.616 di inch diameter. Okay, now let's go ahead and measure the interior diameter. So that's about 2.252. See that? That's where these come in handy. All right, let's say it's hard to reach places. How about, I can't reach, let's say imagine a very long jar or a cylinder, you know, and I can't really measure that. So let's go ahead and put this to good use. So I think this is how you use this. So I am going to measure the height of the jar first. So that turns out to be roughly 5.026 inches. Okay, now here, if I stick this down here, and don't forget the thickness of the jar, see? So that turns out to be about the same, showing me the depth of a hard to reach jar, theoretically. It's recommended that after each measurement, you probably want to zero it because in the event that it doesn't always hit reach zero, see? Simply zero it to recalibrate it after each use. In addition to what I just covered, you also can perform step measurement and differential measurement, which I'm not going to cover. But as you can see, having one of these digital caliper really provides you that the accuracy down to the fractional point if you don't trust your eyesight, especially using a regular engineering scale or ruler. So if you are doing a project or performing a measurement that requires high accuracy, definitely check out the Wii Prima digital caliper.